Welcome back to Just Scribble. I wanted to do a little video of my B6 Slim folio collection from Sojourner in her special brown leather. So I mentioned a little bit about special brown in my most recent unboxing that Sojourner at any time carries about four to five different special brown leathers. They can vary in color from very, very light to very, very dark, like a dark chocolate. And they can vary in texture from having a lot of pebbling to being completely smooth. They can have some scarring, they can have other natural markings. And what you get is kind of based off of what they have available at the time and what looks best with your leather depending on if you're getting it added to a folio or a traveler's notebook. But they also offer a folio where they do all the components of it in special brown. So it's a special brown times three. And so it has the exterior pocket, the body of the folio, and also the interior pockets, all made out of the same color scheme of special brown. And in April, I ordered my first special brown B6 slim folio from Sojourner, and I received this light colored one and immediately fell in love. This leather is super, super thin and light. It hugs notebooks and inserts really, really well. It's actually designed, or I would expect designed because it fits like a glove. It's designed to fit the Naname Paper Cafe Notes B6, which is a B6 Slim Tomo River notebook. And so it fits this notebook like a glove, as you can see, maybe in this, I have it in this one. And it doesn't scratch very easily. It's just super, super awesome. And so I received my first one and I've been loving it. I've been using it up until actually yesterday, I was keeping my commonplace notebook in this special brown folio. And then earlier this month, I grabbed this one in sort of this toffee color off of the Facebook group where we have a buy sell trade going and we share our sojourners and how we use them and how much we love them. And I was able to snag this one and really, really loved it. I was super excited to get a second one in a different shade with some different texture on it. But then when I had two, I realized that really I needed a third so that I'd have all the spectrums of the color of special brown. So I got have a light one and a medium and a dark one. And today, also from that group, I received, there's the sample that came with it. I received this chocolate one. It is special brown in a dark kind of chocolatey color. It is absolutely gorgeous. I was lucky that someone tagged me in it knowing that I was looking for one and had been looking for one and it looks like the top of the crackling of a brownie to me. I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. Like the others, it's super soft and lightweight, but once you put your notebook in it, it has plenty of structure and it holds its shape. my blotting paper back in there and it's perfect it is the perfect fit there's some room for growth tabs don't fit great on the side here unless you use really short tabs unless you order your folio with the extra half inch to allow for your tabs but I have found that they work great actually out of the top um, and so I keep mine kind of out of the top and I've actually kind of liked it a lot. And this one had an elastic, which I don't have on these, but have been debating on adding myself. And so I'm excited to have an elastic on one of them to see if I do like it, how much I like it before I punch holes and customize those myself. So now I have three all different colors of the special brown leather. So I now have a complete collection. And while I have you, I wanted to share my collection and how pretty it is because I'm super excited, but I also wanted to show you some things you can do with it. So the 
Anatomy paper fits in here perfectly. And even with this in here, you can actually add the Jaboon zipper pocket that holds cards or stencils or what have you. And you can use the zipper pocket for pieces that you wanna glue into your journal, or like I have a what's left of a washi card with a tab on it that I made so that I can keep a tab in there. And so you can keep things like that in your journal and you can keep it with it. And so the Jaboon actually is meant to go into their planner set. And so it has this harder piece attached to it instead of being like a dashboard. And it fits perfectly in the back. You could do it in the front too, but the Jaboon word will be upside down, which doesn't bother me, but I kind of like it in the back. It fits perfectly in there and you still have a perfect fit and room for growth. And so if you needed or wanted to use it as a wallet also, or you wanted to keep your stencils or rulers or stickers or whatever with you, you could do that without leaving the folio and going into a traveler's notebook or something like that. So you could keep it slim and light and compact and still have that option. And also I've been testing out using inserts in the folio instead of a thicker notebook. And so these are B6 Slim inserts. These ones are actually in Tomo River, but it really wouldn't matter what kind of paper you have, but these are from Paper Penguin. And so on this side, I used the insert by itself, but on this side, I actually tested it with a dashboard from Chic Sparrow in it. And so obviously the pretty part of my dashboard is hidden, but I could have printed this reversed so I could see the pretty part back here. But my pocket, my adhesive pocket that I get from Target that keeps my post-it notes and my index cards actually still fits behind the insert and so I could actually keep the dashboard as a pocket option and use inserts instead of a thicker notebook and have a very thin, portable way to carry two of my B6 Slim inserts. So it just gives me another option for using these folios. That is my little video on my complete Sojourner B6 Slim Special Brown Folio Collection. I'm super excited to com have completed my collection and gotten this beautiful chocolate brown one. I really couldn't tell you which one's my favorite because I love all of them. And I could decide now if I wanna use them all at the same time or I could change them out for seasons or for different purposes. And I will decorate this one soon since these guys look so cute. I'll add something to him but I wanted to share it with you and show you the little different ways that you can use it to add additional storage and things to your notebooks. I hope you found this inspirational and helpful, and I hope that you go out and buy a special brown folio of your own in your favorite size and try it out because it really is an awesome leather. And I hope in the meantime that you remember to just scribble.